This is the Job valve. I have but terrible water pressure here. And this is actually pretty good water flow being that I have terrible water pressure. The next thing we're gonna do is, is the Job valve. What is the Job valve? The J-O-B-E valve. This is the Job valve right here. So it is supposed to be the mega flow shiznig stuff to get the vax flow out of. It is a Job valve, the mega flow valve right here, Job valve. Um, 50 gallons per minute at 30 PSI. Now that is one thing with the part of the Hudson float valve, it can slow down flow and that can give us issue. Um, some things that we have to do with this valve is, is we have to plumb it into the side of the tank or we're gonna have to take it up over top, back down and do a 90 in it and do it. Cause I'll show you here why we have to do that for um, DJ's actually putting a piece of metal on I want to, didn't want to hit on him. This here actually has to sit here and this is what turns this off. This floats up, pulls on this little string here and shuts the water off. This is actually going to go into the tank here. Now, I'm not too worried about it because these bulkhead fittings are designed not to leak, right? Look at all the other bulkhead fittings we have. We have bulkhead fittings everywhere. A bulkhead fitting down there. They're designed not to leak, so I'm not too worried about it leaking. So we'll get it here. Some things that we will need is a, um, we need a hole saw, which is, or a hole drill. And we want it just to go over top of it. So you can see it fits right over top of it. So that way we're not too loose. We're not too tight. And that will help us out to make us do our, what we need not to in do. that area. Mm -hmm. yep. Let me go. Once we hit the hole, we need to go on the inside and clean out all the crap on the inside. Obviously, we're not going to do it now because we got some more holes. So if we drill more stuff, we'll be able to get it. So next thing we'll do is is open the. Actually, we probably ought to go ahead and tighten the Job valve on the there. You think the rubber O-ring's better on the inside or outside? It shouldn't matter. Yeah, I would think. I think on the inside. Yeah. The then we're gonna raise it through the top and shove it down. Um, you gotta make sure that, uh, how tight is that on there right now on the job valve? Uh, you want me to blow it? Um, we can, I wouldn't worry about too much though. Just tighten it down. Yeah, just tighten it down. Well, blue kind of glues it a little bit too. Um, it doesn't vibrate loose. Oh yeah, that's true. But it shouldn't vibrate loose. The blue is right there. Right there's the blue. If it had been a snake, it'd have been your knee off. Yeah. It's not gonna hurt nothing. No. I mean, if it leaks, it's only gonna leak water on the inside. Yeah, it's more of more of the glue, part, glue aspect of it. Keep it from vibrating. Falling out. Yeah. Before we go on any further, if you would like to learn more about pressure washing and stuff like that. I have a step-by-step -step course of how to do a pressure washing business. You can go check it out at pressurewashhelp.com or King of Pressure Washing. And there I have all the steps. In fact, one of the steps is, is building your own rig. And I teach you step-by-step -step of how to build a rig, reasons why we need to build a rig. And not only that, it is also the 26 steps to the perfect house wash. I give you all 26 steps to make sure that you do a perfect house wash every time and you do every step so that way you hit everything you need to do like marketing, like taking before and afters to cover your tail. And all of that is detailed in there so make sure you go check that out. Now we gotta reach down through the tank. What do you do with the... Oh, it's up there. Oh. No, down at the I tank. did see a video where a guy, for if you're doing bulkheads, I wonder if we ought to go ahead and put the ball on it. Go ahead and put the ball on it before we shove it down in there, because we're not going to be able to tie it down in there. You know what I mean? We're not going to be able to reach down in there and tie that on there. I'm not a, I'm not a seaman like you, so <laughs> you're going to have to, uh, to tie, it for you. tie the... If you don't know how to tie a knot, tie a lot. <laughs> you're... You're a semen at heart. Mm, yeah. So 
so we don't we can be kind of tight, can't we? Yeah, I would do this as we possibly can. Man, we don't. Uh, yeah, as long as it goes a little bit. <laughs> it won't fit in the hole. Can you shove it down the other way and lube it up? <laughs> You've already drilled the hole in that. It's got to go. <laughs> So, tip of the day, you may need to check to make sure the hole is big enough that it'll go down in there. See if we go the other way and put the valve down in it. Oh, then it's going to fall, but you can hold on to this rope. And then give it a little plop. I might have should have went with the smaller valve, or the smaller one, but it's still big enough that it'll cover it all up. So, we're good. And these are all backwards thread, too, just so anybody knows that are doing these. And you're trying to screw it the righty tighty lefty loosey it will never take that b big one piece has got to go down to the bottom to see yeah, I'm, just look, I'm just looking to see how much this probably got that much in here okay before it gets to the top you to miss all right then we need to put this here in there put a little bit too much on it but be careful getting on them new shoes of yours down there it's going to be interesting to see how much the job valve flows versus the other valve I'm trying to get to my house to get that Yeah, my flow ain't got crap here, which... Well, is the supply to the house, you think, since it's such a long run? No. I think it's on the back side of the house where I lose a lot of my flow. And we don't have the greatest water pressure here. We're 400 feet from the road. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Which I did run one inch to help. Oh, keep... you did? Yeah, I did. Oh, well, shit. Imagine if you didn't run one oh, inch. Yeah. I, I think I ran inch and a half. They told me to run inch and a half to keep it from... Keep it. Daggone fly going in the land to be dead before long. I can only get so tight with my hand. That's gonna be good. Alright. And we're gonna up oh, there with the valve. Long enough, but not too long. Off with her head! If I need to spin this, I can spin that so that way it's got a better natural curve. Heating up the hose so it slides on a lot easier. And then once we get that done and tightened up, that is all you have to do to install a job valve. I figured out a way to do a test on the job valve though, and I'm just now getting to it. So, and that's all. So that will be the end of how to install the job valve. Obviously we got to tighten it up, but that gives us our garden hose in through our reel, out through the reel into our job valve. The job valve, you do need to make sure that uh, the float thing does fit into the lid, otherwise it won't work like we did there earlier. So those are some things you need to watch for and check out.